Hello everyone and welcome to Creature World 2, Part 2, Demon Torsos. This is the second installment in the Demon series, um, the first one being Heads, which is already out, 50 Heads with Blend Shapes. This is 43 Demonic Monstrous Torsos, also with Blend Shapes. Um, OBJs are also included with the separate Blend Shapes exported as each separate OBJs. After this will be uh, Demon Arms, then Demon Legs, and then combined as one Master Pack with maybe a few extra bits. The reason I'm releasing the parts, like heads, torsos, legs, one by one, is only because it's taking me so long to make this one, because I put a lot of thought and work into this to make it as best as I can, so I don't want to rush it, and I don't want to be not so visible on the marketplace for so long, so I have to think of business as well, but I also want to make the best pack I can for you guys, so... I think it's the best of both worlds, because you, you can still wait for the master pack at the very end, or buy them one by one. And if you bought all four separately, and then you see the master pack's got a few more bits, and it's a little bit cheaper, and it will be, than the four separate, simply d DM me, and I will give you a coupon, so that which will make up the difference. Like, it'll cost you like a dollar to upgrade, because I, I can't make it less than a dollar on our station. So you can buy them now, and wait, make a difference to you financially, except for one dollar one day, whenever uh, the whole master pack is out, just like Insect. So this pack consists of um, that little stand. Example, one set of example arms with uh, muscly, skinny, and a few other work in progress blend shapes, just to give you an idea of what's coming after this, to give you some context of the torsos. One pair of example legs, same thing, just obese, skinny, elongation and quadruped versions, etc. One example head from um, Deep the First Pack, which is already out, also with its blend shapes. And a new one called Skinny, and the inverse happens to be ob muscle or obese. And then 43 torsos. This is what you'll see when you open it up. So to open this up, just go to Load Tool, where you've downloaded it to, and... Um, mine would be there. And just load it. And <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to do a few things first to get them out of the way. Uh, let's cycle through all the torsos very quickly, and then I'll, we'll go in-depth. Turn that off. You can turn visibility on and off like that, and then up and down arrows to cycle through the torsos. So I'm going to go through them real quickly and then I'll go in depth just to give you a quick overview. Zoom out a bit. About two thirds is humanoid in shape, or very roughly. Um, and then the last. 10 or 12 out of the 43 are more alternate shapes because it would have been boring if they're all just you know fitting this kind this one proportion of course you can edit it any way you like but I'm sure you get, you get what I mean um and they have, some have got some, some, here we go with your kind of alternate start, snake-like. And now it's getting more drastically different where you'd have to move the arms up. The legs are generally in, generally in the correct place, but the heads and arms would have to be moved. Oh, I love this one, one of my favorites. Um, see, so like this, you'd probably have to move the arms there. Well, you can put wherever you like and the head forward, which I'll do later. I'll do a demonstration of that. Same with these. That's when they're all together towards the end, when it's more uh, different kind of torsos with different proportions. Very different. Love this one as well. And you get the idea. Hunched over. Okay, so that is all the guys. If you press N for Nathan on your keyboard, it shows all the sub-tools in the scene. 
This has always been there, and I've only recently started using it, which is really silly of me, but and you can just go back to wherever you want. So each of the torsos has three blend shapes under layers. Muscly, obese, and skinny. Some only have two, but most of them, 90%, 95% has got these three. Some have an extra few ones. So let's say we, got, we want to make a muscly guy go like that. Just want to turn him on visibly, so if I switch to something else, he stays on and doesn't disappear. I'm switching to the arms. Because generally when you make it real muscly, the arms need making muscly as well. There we go. It's a nice starting point. We'll just go as is and dynamish this and go from there. But it's a super awesome quick way to get a base. Well, it's more than a base. It's highly detailed, but to get started, you know, it's something without screwing about from scratch. Why? Today's speed is everything these days. Uh, let's go back to this guy. Let's go obese. Turn Mussy off first. Nice fat guy. Or skinny. Now the arms again are a bit too big, so make him skinny. So all the once the arms and legs packs are out, they will also have muscly, obese, skinny, and sometimes stuff like this elongation. This is for quadrupeds, obviously doesn't fit this guy, and so on. Here we go, now it all fits. So let us go back to this guy. Turn him off, because if I cycle now, they'll get overlaid. So turn him off, and so on. So the skinny one should fit nicely, there we go. Let's turn him on, go to the head, skinny. The heads I will update as well. That will be a free update for those who own heads already. With uh, with uh, skinny, muscly, obese, where, where it suits the head. Which is usually the neck and uh, jowls and so on. Uh, let's go back to normal for now. Um, And let's go back to our torso. So yeah, they all have... And I can play around with this all day. Some change more drastically than others, but you get the idea. Ah, so they're overlaid. Turn that off. So I'm not going to jump back t between the arms and legs and make them skinny or muscly as well. You get the idea. I'll probably say that too often, don't I? This one becomes really nice and wrinkly almost as it gets skinny. I'm using a really old, sorry, eight-year-old computer. So I can struggle sometimes. I'm amazed it still works, this PC. It's not the one I do the work on. It's a, the reason I do anything at all on this one, it's my audio recording PC. So the good mic is here and so on. And Here we have one with a extra thing called plates, for example. It just, I thought it would look cool and add it. Why not? Instead of having a separate mesh, when you don't have to, you can have it in one mesh with that option, which is pretty cool. Skinny, real skinny. See the ribs sticking out or not sticking out. Muscly. And so forth. This is one of my favorites. I think it's one of the first ones I made as well. Uh, skinny. I like those with a neck opening. It's just quite satisfying. You pick and it's almost like his trapezoid is. This is not his trapezoid. It's like a shell, and it. He's, that's his real trapeze. It's real muscles inside, melded together. Go. 
Okay, let's carry on. It's got the same deal going on. I'm not going to go through every blend shape, but they're all, they're all similar. I like sc sculpting fatty tissue and so on. It's, I don't know why. It's just satisfying. Here we have a typical goat lord. Like a goat clan from Diablo style chest. This is one of my favorites. Another very hard skinned demonic one. See, where we're, this is one example where its obese version is quite drastically different. Because it like pops out. Of these rows of teeth. So it's an awesome way to just quickly do things you wouldn't have thought of. I can play with this all day. Let's move on. Standard scaly guy. Skinny, musty, obese as usual. Same with this guy. I thought I should add, add one or two fairly normal torsos. People would probably want that as a base sometimes. But, you know, a bit more gnarly than a human would be. More... More rough skin. More gnarly. Um, and then it's real skinny World War II prisoner of war or Vietnam kind of vibe. <clears> hmm. <throat> uh, Software is pretty amazing, isn't it? That's fun. And Musty. Another semi-humanoid one. I just really like this silhouette, so I thought I'd added it. Because it was going to be 35 torsos, then it was 40, and then I had three left. Which I really like, and this was one of them, so I refined it and added it. What does this obese one look like? Oh, okay. This one is meant for like two arms, two sets of arms. Which I'm not gonna add now. He's got quite a nice obese one. What a mess. Going back to gnarled demon land. Mm-hmm. Another spiky guy. <clears throat> I really like this one. It's, it's got quite a big muscle change. It'll be nice if wings that. What's his have beast like? Oh, he's got a... Oh, he's a cute little belly. And skinny. You get it. Mm -hmm. I like combining quite often a little bit of muscle on top and then a belly but not fat just kind of this chunky vibe it's not like a he-man shredded body just this really meaty body it's, it's quite satisfying I do like doing that quite often So generally, musty and obese work fairly well together in conservative amounts. It's another totally different one. Now he fits that body more. If you want to clean up the stomach, just do that. That's an extra... So this one I thought could possibly lack rest space for the eyes, so I've added this little guy to clean the belly up. But some might like those beautiful organs. Hollow. This fourth one is just for fun, for an Abby's chest opening. Um, 
little bit mussy to fit the body. There we go. Go down. Skin wearer. Summer edition. Uh, this one only has one blend shape, which I really like, called Sag. Mm-hmm. 24-7, <laughs> I can just do this. But I should probably grow up and um, stop doing that and move on. Uh, there we go. This one's got one as well, called... Let me close the belly. Belly full of screaming souls. Or a screaming belly full of screaming souls. And then more, another fairly normal one, except he's got a surprise blend shape, the breasting, which is an event that happens once every 275 years. There we go, the breasting. Hmm, I should have made some come out on the back as well. It would have been Fine, but you can add those. Easy peasy, just go bam, new layer. I'll do this really quickly. Using the clay brush with uh, its alpha turned off. And then turn that off. Standard brush. Not playing ball now, it's these. Oh, because the standard was set to spray from a previous thing I was doing. Never mind. It's fine. A little bit of inflate. Turn symmetry off. These are not the best breasts, but. Because you generally don't want symmetry with fat and breasts like this, because it just looks weird and unnatural. <laughs> oh, the irony. Unnatural. I mean, this is pretty... It's pretty unnatural already, isn't it? And we've got the breasting at the back. The breasting at the rear. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Uh... Ah, oh, that's one thing to note. Let's say you can edit any body when it's all the blend shapes are at zero. You can do what you want. If any blend shape is activated even just a little bit, you'll get this message if you want to sculpt on it. So either press record on that layer. And then just move it when you're done recording undo that or you can say bake all which will kill your blend shapes this is undoable so it's fine so now you can just do what you want it's a normal mesh with no layers or you can make a new layer just press record whatever you do oh not that I need to do that kill that layer is now recorded onto that layer There's many ways you can go about this one, delete that layer. Or you can press Control shift d that makes a copy of this guy, you can see it's, it's copied him. And work destructively on this mesh, as in baking it all down, doing what you want. And if you hate it, you can just always press the up arrow to go back to the, the one that's still fine. Whatever you want. I'm going to delete this guy, the copy I made, and carry on. So we were there. So here we get to, if I press N, ignore these heads, I'll, they're not part of the pack and I'll explain what's going on there in a bit. So, so we're at the last 12 or so bodies are less and less bipedal, otherwise it would have been boring if they all fit the same proportions roughly. Although this one's got something called tail back, which does make room, make it more bipedal like. But let's um, turn them on. 
select the legs turn them off go back to this and he's got three standard blend shapes as well um, I really like his obese one because the whole tail becomes chunky and who doesn't like a chunky tail it sounds very ambiguous um, mostly just do the arms with it to show again how that would uh huh that one doesn't quite work for me but shit for other arms and um so on. Let's bring the legs back. Alt click on this guy. Turn him off and press a down arrow again to cycle. Also got the usual blend shapes. Now it's getting real different where you'd probably have to let me turn him on. Select the arms. You probably have to move the arms. I do a real bad job, but you Uh, record in there so I can work on this. Where you'd probably have to move. Generally, the legs will be in the correct position going forward. You'd have to move the arms and head. So let's move this guy. It's like a new layer. And we don't want that neck, right? So this is. You can delete it, or I prefer to just move it in. In this example, uh, so this particular head and arms don't work for me, but you get the idea. I'm gonna undo that. Uh, let's turn that layer off. Let's go to the next one. Um, Oh yeah, this guy has blend shapes. Only obese and skinny. This is one of my favorites, like I said already. Uh, this one is a great example of... So he's got his usual uh, muscly. Obese. Skinny. He is great to layer torsos with this. I'm going to turn him on. Just hide the head. Um, so you'd have to move a head to the front. Let's pretend that's the head. So we've got this guy selected. See if I cycle through the torsos now and I've got one turn on. You can come up with ones. There we go. Unexpected combinations, which I love doing. So with this particular guy, they all really work. Biped ones. Because it's got that silhouette hollow there. And it's just awesome, because you can come up with a billion different designs by combining elements. Eventually, arms, legs, torsos, you know. Combining two, three torsos to get something completely new, like this. And, um... Because they're all in position, it's so easy to do that. You don't have to use an insert mesh, which I really don't recommend with these. It's, it's a pain in the ass. You can, but... This is just way easier. They're all there, always. So you get the idea. You can mix... You don't have to just mix with this guy. You can mix with any of them. Um, let us turn him off. So, this would be like, you'd probably move the arms. So the last torsos are all, the last 10 or 11 or 12 are all, more like this shape. Which also has, you know, a piece. I'm not going to adjust the arms and legs with it now. Uh, You get the idea. So this is more like a raptor, like not the, not the dinosaur, but that kind of shape. The small front arms, the strong legs, and a long head. You most likely chuck in there. 
So let's quickly actually uh, same with this. You'd have to adjust the arms and legs to make it fit. Like this. It's our blend shape we made, our crappy blend shape. Oh, it doesn't work. Never mind. That's better, actually. Ah, the worm. Skinny, real obese. And musty as well. Another raptor esque shape where you'd have to move the arms again. And ignore those heads. This guy. Chuck a head in there. Love the shape. Yeah, it's got. Oh, no membrane. Okay. Skinny. Obese, muscly. And I'll get to the heads that you'd probably put there in a second. Uh, let's turn them on, go to the arms. Let's widen them. Make them skinny. It'll probably pack, pop back in that, to that area because of the way blend shapes work. Pretty cool. Uh, let's go back to this guy. He's got his blend shapes again, as usual. Skinny. Obese. That's what he looks like. It's hunched over demonic horned thing. So it's cool to chuck heads in there. And I'll show that in a sec. And that's the final one. Uh, also hunched over. Skinny. No. We've quickly gone through all of them. Let's go to this guy. Let's say you have heads already and you want to add it to the scene. You know, there's a few ways to do it, but only one good way. And I've already loaded it here. That's why I've hidden it. It's not heads. It's not part of this pack. Just so anyone emails me or saying where it is. Heads is a separate pack to torsos. I've just loaded it into the scene because it takes long on this computer. Now, how you do that is you go... Um, let me just delete all of these. So you've loaded your um, bodies. Pretend heads is not there. Go to load tool. Go to wherever you downloaded heads or in the future arms or legs. Load that. Let's wait a second. Uh, probably have to edit this bit out if I remember. If I don't, I apologize. There we go. A full five seconds. Oh, look at these awful proportions. That should be... That's been upgraded, by the way. That's just awful. That's better. Anyway, so let's get rid of that guy. So load your heads. So just make sure you select at least one head. In the folder, it doesn't matter which one. Just select one, then go back to uh, your torsos. Sorry, heads Z plugin. This is this is standard default. Sub tool master. This is always comes with set brush. Copy folder. It'll copy this whole folder along with all these blend shapes from the heads pack. Simply go to. Uh, Body. Again, pretend end is not there, and all you gotta do is Z plugin, paste folder. I'm not gonna click it now because it's very slow on this old computer of mine. I've already done it. That's why you can see heads there. And then it'll copy the heads one by one and the folder exactly as it is. Um, with their blend shapes. So if you want, you'll probably. You, 
if a lot of you do have heads, you'll probably want to combine it and then just save this tool as one if you want or whatever, however that you want to do it. That's what I would do. Because then, just ignore this example head. And you can combine torsos and heads, and eventually legs and arms will enter the scene as well. Now, as you can see, all the heads are in the usual biped position. Um, you'll just have to move them. Another thing to, I think there is a, something to avoid is, uh, load tools from project. If you do that for heads, it'll make them tiny, it'll just, it, it doesn't go well. The only way I've found, and the best way, is simply load any other folder, set plugin, copy folder, paste folder, and everything will be perfect. Your blend shapes, everything. So let us choose a head to... I think this guy will look cool. So he's got blend shapes. Um, you can either, as, as I explained before, make a copy of this guy and move that around, or move this guy around. It's in zero position already, it doesn't. Or make a new layer. Let's make a new layer. That's the safest thing. That's, that's, un, that's not destructible. Now just move him into position. It can't be easier than this. And where's his neck at? Oh, the neck's alright. Don't even really have to move the neck. I'm not going to do that now. I'm not going to refine it. I'm just... You're not stupid. You know you know what I'm getting at. Ooh, that's nice from the side, actually. The horns. So that... Stop recording. It'll pop back, but then just... Snarl. I record back on this guy. I want a bigger. See, this is awesome and simple as that. Um, let's get to another head. I'm not gonna do too many because you you get the idea. Is that my slogan? You get the idea. It's a terrible, boring slogan. Like a layer. Let's move this guy. Whoops. Yeah, it fits him real well. This is one of those heads that just fits any uh, hunched over creature very easily. Bigger, I think. Yeah. A little bit bigger. Let's make it slightly oversized. Yeah. And I'm going to use the move. Just really quickly move it in there. The brushes I mainly use uh, standard move clay builder damn standard and then inflate pinch and a host of others but that's uh, the bulk of usage clay build up and move anyway I'm not going to refine this too much because this is a demonstration of functionality not how to approach art which I will do as well eventually I don't like that. There we go. What is this? No. Alright. Sorry, I got a bit lost here. It's, a, it's Each config is a rabbit hole, which is great and bad, because you can just get lost in options and stuff. Again, let's make a layer for this guy. Yeah, he fits real nice as well. Let's go back to the biped to show how, um... Uh, torches and heads interact without these hunched over guys. Turn him off. Let's go to... Uh, 
I'm sorry, I'm screwing up a bit. There we go, back to where you belong. Turn this on. And... I've since adjusted the heads, by the way. Uh, let me just turn that on and make this guy non-skinny. Go back to the heads. The heads have been upgraded since this, but I've not updated this file I'm using right now. But yeah, you get the idea. The same will happen for arms and legs once I'm done with those and miscellaneous parts. So this guy... It's uh, back to where he was. Same for this guy. You can see it's fairly infinite in possibility. I'm gonna go through all the heads now, it's a separate pack. But yeah. Um get the idea let's um let's say you want to you've chosen something you want to work on and you don't want to so let's say you've made a creature let's say this is a creature but you don't and you you want to save this file but you don't want to save all these other meshes with it you can either uh Go merge visible. That creates a new tool. And you can say work on this. And then you can separate stuff as you want. And work on this. And save that. So it's not a, your, otherwise your files will be enormous. All the time. Which is unnecessarily. Um, let's delete all this by the way. Or you can. Uh, move. The torsos and the bodies out of the folders. Delete all, like, will kill the folder and delete those and save the file. This is a new file name, but Emerge Visible is probably the quickest. And now you can either. I'm not going to use my custom menus because you don't have my custom menu and it might be confusing. You can DynaMesh it all together so you can, you know, meld this stuff. Well, you don't really have to do that much with this guy. You can meld, you know, stuff together. Or if you keep groups on and then DynaMesh, it will keep these meshes separate. So it depends on what you want. Let's say you've merged visible. I'm just going to turn off this so it's a bit quicker on this PC. You can control shift click this and... Um, I've got shortcuts there, but it will usually be in modified geometry, modified topology. Um, no, actually, sorry, it's in split, split hidden. If you want these separate, you know, for whatever reason, there might be a million reasons why. And you can do this for control shift. These arms happen to have different poly groups. Normally, I wouldn't do that. I'm just control shift clicking on them. And then control shift dragging alt. Split hidden. So now I've got a torso separate. Um and you can do the same for the rest. But let's just merge it all back together. So let's say we are happy with this and we want to dynamic, you just go, there's usually a back and forth, um, dynamic, it's good. old PC, it's going to think for a bit, uh, sorry, I just stretched a bit, let's see if it doesn't crash, come on, we can do it, wow, Undoing just to compare. So I lost a bit of detail, so you probably want to up that resolution slider. I'm not going to do that now, but this is if you want to, you know, sculpt further, ref like really refine, use the standard brush and um, 
things, you know, glue glue stuff together. But oops, I don't have symmetry on. Because now it's one continuous mesh, as you can see. That's what Dino Mesh does. And it equalizes the polygons across the whole mesh, which is I can't, you know, no one can live without this. Uh orb cracks is really cool. Oh. Anyway, I'm going I'm getting distracted. But that's generally how you'd go about stuff. But that's a whole massive you know, approaching art and say brush techniques. There's a whole uh, subject in itself and a whole video which I can't cover here. This is about. I just turned painting off because these happen to be painted in itself, which I'm not going to cover here. But um, you get the idea. And then you would, you know, detail, do whatever you really want, add wings or spikes or whatever it is that you want to do with this mesh. I, you know, generally, I wouldn't dynamesh the teeth together, all of all of that together. I would, in fact, let me undo. We'll show you in a nutshell what I would do with something like this. I'd make the mouth would probably be more closed, but I'm not going to do that now. I'm just undoing to where it wasn't dynamished. Oh. There we go. So, it's merged together, but it's separate meshes. So, I would most likely auto group these which is I've got a shortcut um, over there but you should find it in polygroups and I'll make each contiguous mesh its own polygroup so it's dynamesh yeah in this case I would only really want to dynamesh the torso and the legs together in this particular case, it really depends. So I'm um, control shift clicking, control shift dragging. Whoops, control shift alt to hide that as well. I'm hiding everything that I want to meld glue together. Control shift drag. Click that. Control W will make this one polygroup. So this will get melded together when I dynamish. Control shift click in open space. So what do we have? I'll make the arms control shift click, click it again. Control shift click. Control shift drag in open space to invert it. Control W, one poly group. Control shift click, tap. Um, so I'd want the teeth to stay in their own poly groups. As well as the eyes. And probably these plates, it really depends what you want. You don't have to. But let's keep it simple for now. I'll probably want to dynamesh. We could dynamesh the head with the body. It kind of looks like it, like it does meld together. It's not just plates. So do that. Let's dynamesh all this together. I'm control shift clicking on them all. It's just really slow. Yep. Control shift drag to invert it. Control W. Often the head is kept separate really, but it really depends. I, I want to meld it in this case. And let's I want to group all the teeth together. No, I don't. I want to keep them separate so they can each be their own dynamic. Same with the eyes. So if we do groups, actually, let me show the non shortcut menu uh, geometry, groups, dynamic. And if it's not the resolution you want, undo, change this resolution, and click it again. 
you'll have to click groups again as well if you undo, which is quite annoying. But this should be fine for this demonstration. Dynamesh. Groups does take a little bit longer as well, I think. I'll have to edit this part out, and if I don't... I should be dragged through the streets of Rome. Behind a horse and cart. <clears throat> wow. So, on most normal modern PCs, this should be a bit quicker. As again, this PC is eight years old. It's a i7, fifth generation i7. I mean, we're at the 13th generation now, so it's like eight generations behind six core, hex core um, i7, which is not bottom of the barrel, but it's very outdated. And ZBrush is um, mainly CPU based. It doesn't really use a graphics card. Except if you use Pro Boolean, which is a specific operation you for hard surfers. But yeah, your graphics card doesn't really have an impact on ZBrush. So is Z, that's why ZBrush likes the more core. No, don't do that. Ah, there we go. So as you can see, we don't have the mess we had earlier. The body is Control Shift, click it. Minus the hooves, which is good. And you can sculpt you know, smoothly across the parts now. I didn't do the arms because it's probably best to do them because ideally you'd have... Oh, actually, the arms would... I'm not going to do it now, but... Well, this is a... It's not a human being, so it's different. Um... What have I got selected? Oh, I forgot this is one mesh. I've gone mad. I've gone completely mad. But yeah, this there won't be this hollow here, right? You'd have things going on. Again, I highly recommend looking at the reference. Um, control tap with Gizmos on will mask everything but the polygroup you tapped on so uh, this muscle generally if you're a human flows into your pectoral muscles so actually i should have melded them all together but you, i'm not going to do that now because this is a demon and the muscles can work slightly differently because we we don't care is it frozen on me if that brush freezes like that open the light box and then it will get you out of a bind. And then undo. Anyway, the main th reason I want to do that is so that I can have the teeth nice and separate and clean and not melded together. Because you don't want that. And the eyes, of course, their own little spheres. You don't want them melded to the body, do you? If they were, it's not the end of the world. You can always... Hollow them out and add new spheres easily, easy peasy. But yeah, I'm not gonna go into depth too deep much further how you know character sculpting goes. That's a hours and hours of stuff to consider, but you get the idea. So thank you for watching. Um I think I've covered everything. Uh and I hope you have a lot of fun with this. Create an insane amount of stuff. I wish I had arms and legs out already for even more variation and, and But I'm gonna start working on those right away Once after I've released this In a few days. Um, so thank you very much. Speak to you later. Goodbye